Before participating in the following activity, there are some important things we want you to do. Please remember to practice physical distancing of at least six feet from anyone that is outside of your home. Wear comfortable and proper shoes. Make sure you have an open space around you with no objects or obstacles in the way. Use the proper equipment or alternative objects you can find in your home. And last, stay hydrated and have fun. Welcome to the special Olympics softball training video for fielding techniques. Uh, my name is Coach Mike. I'm one of the coaches for the Thunder Bay softball team. Uh, today, I will be assisted by uh, two players, uh, Gabrielle and Roberta, who both play for the Thunder Bay team. Uh, today, we're going to go through a number of different topics. Uh, we're going to go through uh, our, our fitness training, our dynamic fitness. Uh, we're going to talk about equipment and utilization of uh, various uh, equipment that you've got around the house that we can utilize. Uh, and then we're going to get into some skills and drills. And then we're going to talk uh, a little about, about uh, uh, cool down. Okay, so we're going to talk about equipment. Uh, pretty simplistic as far as the equipment goes for softball. Um, we have bats, which are usually supplied by the team. But uh, if you have your preference and you've got your own bat, uh, bring it with you. We have our gloves. I'm left-handed, so the glove goes on my non-dominant hand, which is on my right hand. Sometimes we like to wear a batting glove under our hands in order to protect us from, from all the impact. Uh, we have our hats. Okay, keep the sun out of our eyes. Sunglasses, very important uh, for nice, bright, sunny afternoons. Uh, sunscreen, obviously everybody wears it. Uh, before your, your game. Uh, bug spray, you need that here in the north. I'm not sure if you need it in, anywhere else in the province. Uh, our baseball shirts, okay, these are our Thunder Bay uh, baseball team. Uh, very, very nice uniforms that have been provided to us by Special Olympics. Uh, a pair of shorts and very comfortable uh, shoes uh, for running in. Okay, so we're going to work on, right now we're going to do our warm-up exercises. And part of our warm-up exercises, we gather our athletes, everybody gets around the circle paying attention to the coach or the trainer running the exercise. It gives a good, good opportunity for everybody to start thinking about the baseball game, about their warm-ups, about who they're playing, and just getting into the, uh, into the mode of the baseball. Okay, so we're going to start off with uh, arm circles, and we're going to start little small circles going forward. Uh, we're stretching out our arms and Roberta and I are, are going in the same direction. Uh, circles get larger and larger. Okay. Okay, now we're going to stretch our necks. Okay, we're going to put our head forward. Okay, just gently and then we're going to rotate it in slow motion all the way around just stretching things out. Okay, we're going to get to the front again, and we're going to go backwards, and we're going to stretch our necks uh, nice and gently, and good. Okay, now we're going to rotate our hips, so legs apart, hands on your hips, we're going to bend forward, okay, and then we're going to rotate and around, and to the front, and we're going to stop, and then we're going to go backwards, all the way back, rotating your trunk, and we'll do that. All these exercises we're going to do 10 times. Stop. Okay, so hold on. So we're going to stretch our, our legs out now. Uh, find a partner and uh, grab a hold of your ankle, the other arm on your partner's shoulder, and pulling your ankle up towards your butt for a 10 count. Ready? Go. Hold the arm. Set. Okay, good. Okay, weight on your, on your right side. Okay, stretch out your groin. Pushing on your weight, two, three for a 10 count. Ready, go, okay. Okay, so we're gonna do some jumping jacks now. We're gonna do, it's good for your cardio. We're gonna do as a team, okay? So everybody in the team, we're gonna do arm one. We're gonna do 10 of them, and we're gonna yell out the numbers as we go through them. So, ready, Roberta? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, 
today we're going to start off with something very simple. What we're going to do is just a bare hand catch. Okay, so we're going to put our legs shoulder width apart. We're going to extend our hands, fingers up, out in front of us, elbows bent. And the coach is going to throw you a ball. And we're going to throw it and you're going to catch it in front. You're going to catch it to the right. You're going to catch it to the left. All the time we're going to keep our fingers up. The ball is way out to the right. You're going to extend your hand. Okay, if it's all the way up to the left, you're going to extend your hand. But keeping fingers up, shoulders, uh, out, knees bent, and we're going to throw. Bend your knees, hands up, okay, fingers up, and we're going to catch with our, our glove hand. So which is your glove hand? Correct. Okay, so we're going to use socks or a tennis ball. Ready? We're going to do this 10 times. Here we go. Throw back. Okay, keep your fingers up. Oop, that's okay. Tennis ball, here we go. Throw back. Tennis ball. Here we go. In the center. Off to your right. There we go. Keep your hands up. Hands up. Okay. Okay, Gabby. Knees bent. Hands out. Fingers up. Out in front. Okay, there we go. Which is your catching hand? There we go. Comes a tennis ball. There we go. Hands up, fingers up. Now our next drill is we're going to be working on ground balls. So what I want to do is you've got your glove on your on your hand, okay? Legs apart, shoulder width apart, and I want you to bend your knees, okay? And you're going to get the ball, your glove down on the on the ground. And when the ball is rolled to you, you're going to, we call this the alligator, remember? Ball's out in front, hand over the top, and catching the ball. So Gabriel's going to roll me the ball. Okay, legs apart, roll me the ball. And into the glove, an alligator, over top. Let's do that again. Gabriel roll me the ball, so shoulder width apart, bending my knees, ball's out in front. Okay, five more. Chin up, bending forward, and you glove up in front. There we go. That's it. Okay, three more. Two more. And last one. That's it. Good job. Okay, hold on. So we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to move to the ball. Okay, that last program was the ball was coming right at us. Now we're going to go and we're going to, the ball's going to come to our right. And we're going to shuffle over. Keeping the ball in front of us, going to the right. And the ball's going to go to the left. We're going to shuffle over, and we're going to come up. And we're, we're going to get in front of the ball. We always want the ball to be centered, okay? So let's let's try it for now. So don't forget, shoulder width apart, bending your knees, ball up front, and the ball's going to go my right. Shuffle over, get the ball, okay? Go to the left, shuffle over, keep it in front of us. Shuffle over. Ball in front. That's it. Last one. Good job. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoulder width apart, bend your knees, glove down, and we're going to go to our right, which is your right and my left. Okay. And then we're going to go the opposite way. Yeah. So you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Pull over. There we go. Keeping the ball in front. Okay. Left, there we go, keeping the ball and bending up, bending your legs now. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Good job. Okay. That's it. Okay, last one. Ready? Last one. Good job. Okay, so now that we've we've learned how to do the alligator, and we bend down, get the ground ball. Now we're going to practice getting down, getting the ground ball, doing the alligator, and coming up and throwing the ball. Doesn't matter if you're second baseman, shortstop, third baseman, infielder, this is how you're going to work it. You're going to, you're going to bend over, bend your knees, now get in that fielding position, get the ball, alligator, and then we're going to come up with the ball, one step, two step, three step, and throw. Okay, so we're going to have another little training program. We're going to bounce a tennis ball. So you can do this 
in your garage, you can do this in your basement, you can do it outside. All we're doing is practicing hand-eye coordination. Both uh, pairs of players are going to have their gloves on, and we're just going to bounce it once into their glove side. You're going to catch it uh, properly, fingers up, two hands, and then transfer the ball to their throwing hand and bounce to their other partner. Okay, so bird and I shoulder the legs shoulder width apart, kind of bend our knees, and then bounce. Both of us are left-handed, so it's going to go the opposite direction. Two hands now. Fingers up. Two hands. There you go. Okay. That's it. Two hands. Good job. Bend your legs there, Gab. And two hands, girls. There we go. So we've had our exercises. We've had our uh, uh, we've had our game. We've had our practice. So now it's time to everybody get in the circle, and we're just going to do some cool downs. Okay. So make sure that everybody's had a drink. They're well hydrated. And this is when you know coach goes around and starts discussing. How things went today, confidence, everybody did a great job, hitting was great, catching was great, made some double plays, wonderful days. So uh, we're going to cool down, we're just going to shake things out. Now we're just going to shake out our arms, and uh, get that lactic acid out, and just shake things out. Uh, shaking back and forth, okay, shaking our legs, okay, just shaking everything out, we're just cooling down, okay. Um, go for a little walk when we're done this, and just to... Just to shake everything out so everybody has a good sleep tonight. Okay, X, ready, and good. So thank you very much for attending our training program uh, on grounding. Ground balls are our, our fitness, our warm-ups, our cool-downs, and a little bit of skills and drills. Uh, obviously, the ground grounding was only a small part of skills and drills for your baseball repertoire. You've got hitting. Uh, you've got fielding, you've got catching in the outfield. Uh, there's a lot of things that uh, are going to come into play. You're going to put them all together, and we're hoping that uh, uh, this is going to make you a better ball player. Uh, thank you for attending. Uh, all the best. Uh, you guys did a phenomenal job. Congratulations on, on your workouts today. I'd like to thank Gavin and Roberta and uh, uh, Thunder Bay uh, Special Olympics. Uh, we appreciate the opportunity to provide this to, uh, to Special Ontario. Thank you.